Good afternoon, and as we kick off the next phase of our small gathering here, I want to give a shout out to the Ideal Maine Band, Yay! who's brought us some fabulous music to set the, set the stage. A New Orleans funeral procession, I think, is where they play some of that kind of music, and it's wonderful music, and it's appropriate in the time of COVID when we're here to talk about deaths from COVID and preventing deaths from COVID. So good afternoon. I'm Cynthia Finney, president of the Maine Fair Trade Campaign and president of the Maine AFL-CIO. And we're here today, along with others across the country at different events, to urge Chancellor Angela Merkel, who's meeting with President Biden today, to support the temporary TRIPS waiver in the trade agreements to allow COVID vaccine treatment and testing to be manufactured elsewhere so we can make better haste in distributing it worldwide. You might wonder why we're doing this in Portland, Maine. We're across the street from the German Consul office. And so we're sure that our message is going to meet Chancellor Merkel and we'll also be delivering a letter. We passed a grim statistic last week globally of four million deaths from COVID-19. Although we're above 50% in vaccination in the United States, still behind our goal, but above 50%, many poorer nations do not have the access we have and are at 1% or less. As long as the virus is free to spread, it's free to mutate. We're here remembering those who have already died from COVID and we're here working to prevent more unnecessary deaths. The vaccines were developed in the United States and Germany with a great deal of public support and a great deal of government propping to be sure that the risk wasn't entirely borne by the companies who were working to make the vaccines with great haste. Now it's time for those vaccines to be able to be used throughout the world without waiting until enough can be manufactured in the limited facilities that are currently profiting the pharmaceutical companies. As the virus spreads and mutates, not only do we lose people, but we are increasingly in danger even with the vaccines. And so this is not a problem that belongs only to those countries that do not have access to the vaccines but it's a problem for you and me and for everyone we care about who thus far has escaped infection, but who may not in the future, if we cannot successfully urge Germany to drop their opposition to the TRIPS waiver in the trade agreements that protects the intellectual property rights of the companies who own the patents. Currently, Germany is the biggest obstacle to this change. And that's why we're focusing on Chancellor Merkel's visit with President Biden and asking specifically that she drop that opposition and join President Biden in supporting this waiver of that provision in our international trade agreements in the fight against COVID. So that's why we're here today and we'll be delivering our letter to Chancellor Merkel's office and to her via them. So I'm glad to be with you today. We're going to let our band um, carry us out again then, and then we will uh, take care of delivering the letter.